pure coin as a digital currency with a value based on a proof of work of com contributing a participant's personal computer power to protein folding research, assisting in many different kinds of cancer research, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, a myriad of infectious diseases like bird flu, um, HIV, and Ebola, custom enzyme research for biofuels, and it even has applications in exobiology. We want to stress how even the smallest contribution helps advance the research since we're all doing this collectively as a community. As of December 15th, the average number of points or points per day required to fold one coin was 6,677 times there's half the coins available. So that induces competition and scarcity, um, kind of following a traditional um, precious metals mining model. So the first section talks about um, how many GPUs and then the section covers the maintenance. Um, so we're going to look at a CureCoin cloud instance here. Amazon Web Services Cloud Spot Instance. And as I, as I showed you before, the Spot Instance pricing, if I can find it here, you know, this was from December, and this was an hourly rate for a C3.8 large. I'm going to share this infographic down below as well, because this infographic kind of lets your friends know how the system works. You know, you download the software from, from Stanford, um, you register, you start folding, then you contribute to medical research, but then you know you can take it to the next step. You can donate some of them back, or you can use them to purchase items online. And and uh, the reason I showed this was because CoinPayments.net is beginning to accept your coins for certain items. Hey everybody, we're live, and we're going to be doing our Q and A session as mentioned in the first part of the video. Uh, as it stands right now, uh, in order to earn Cure Coin, you have to be folding for Team Two Two Four Four Nine Seven, which is the Cure Coin team the median salary for a systems administrator, which is right around 22 bucks per hour. Uh, some people value their time differently. A lot of people enjoy building computers and maintaining them and installing software and managing them. And for those people, it may be seen as you know a fun hobby, and so they'd value their time at zero dollars because they're enjoying what they're doing. It's not work. Yeah. Josh, I think you had a question about AWS. How often do you experience a uh, price-induced termination? As you can see, the the cost of the spot instances changes uh, quite a bit. Um, it's usually best when you're buying a spot instance to, you know, pick what amount you're willing to pay and try to go a little bit above. The CureCoin cloud folding, Cure Coin cloud folding service, where you're actually doing the folding rather than using AWS, you're using um, your equipment, your data center for that. Um, where's your customer base from on on those jobs. Uh, amazingly small number of them that come from the US. Like uh, I think my last customer is from Sweden. Um, I get quite a few from Ukraine um, and Russia. There's a little image on here that kind of tells the story that you're you're talking about right now. This um, this image actually shows folders from all around the world. Let's see, my last customer is from India. Wow. After that, uh, Spain, uh, Italy, Morocco. Wow. United States, Ukraine, Switzerland, Turkey, United Kingdom, Russia. Another one from Ukraine. Another one from Russia. Right. One of the things to underscore is that if you if you do actually purchase cure coins on the exchanges and you use them to buy more folding power, um, you you get quite a significant discount in the cloud folding service. Yep, it's a 50% discount. And I, I've also noticed that you've added some um, game keys here that you can also purchase through CoinPayments.net um, through the cloud folding site as well. So hopefully that um, uh, product the product line will sort of develop out of this. Going forward. I wanted to quickly address how we got the numbers on the spreadsheet for AWS. Multiple ways to pay for those guaranteed resources. You can pay hourly, which is called on demand. You can also do a partial upfront, you can do an all upfront, and then you can do a, which is a one year paid in advance, and then you can do a three year paid in advance. Uh, as I've been showing up here, uh, they have monthly costs, and then they'll break it down into the effective hourly cost you're paying. I think that pretty much covers all the. Q&A. Thanks for joining, guys.